Howdy partners, how's it going? It's been a while since we've done one of these, but I've been working really hard on the next chapter of Pirates of Peace. Now this one is quite a tense one. As we left them the last time, we learned that uh, her father and uh, Mary had been captured inside the ships. And now, We're going to go back to Marie and April and see what's happening there. And from what I've just read, it's not going well. Let's see what happens. Oh, first of all, pirate hat on. Let's get reading. <clears throat> Chapter 12. Dew and raindrops dripped from their makeshift tent. April blinked to the tune of tropical birds singing to each other. The sunbeams blinked through, their, through the trees, glittering like diamonds. April rolled on her back, studying the branches and leaves that poked in and out of the spare sail material. A drop slipped off a glittering leaf and splashed on her cheek. She didn't wipe it off. The makeshift bed next to her was empty. Her captain must already be up. She stretched to her full length, bones groaning. Her arm tapped the bundle. The loose, clo the loose corner flopped over. A smile spread over her face. She had no idea her captain had kept it. Under the fabric was one of a few things that she had to, that she had to remind her of her past. It was also one of a few things that she didn't want to look at. It was too painful. She tucked the corner back up and retied the rope more securely. One day she would look at it. One day. She pushed up and checked her pirate clothes. They were damp, but not too wet. She changed from her carver to her pirate and positioned her hat on her head. Her eyes caught her reflection in a stray puddle, and she tilted her hat to it, cheekily. Her captain was outside, kneeling in front of a large square made of smaller crates. A map of the sea was spread on the crates. Her fingers were walking along the map, jumping back to the middle to walk in a different direction. April just watched, confused. Any obstacles in our previous route? Marie turned and looked at her first mate. We are not going to Peaceful Bay. An eyebrow raised. Excuse me? Marie sighed. Peaceful Bay will have been destroyed by now. We need to plan our next, our new destination. Marie was shocked. In case you have completely forgotten, Peaceful Bay was my home. I have friends there. I had a life there. Peaceful Bay is no more. Any hope of any survivors would be pointless. You know that. Pointless! April was starting to feel hot. The only reason Peaceful Bay was attacked was because I was there. Nonsense. Marie pulled herself away from the map and removed a bottle from an open crate. Harbors get attacked by pirates every day. Pirates, yes but not by mean navy sailors. <laughs> you don't know that. Of course, of course, the drunken sea dog was talking about another Ashley seashell. He was talking about another Admiral Ben. Watch your tongue. Navy blood. The birds are joined in the tense silence. Marie and April stood apart, staring daggers at each other. Silent fury cut the air between them. Finally, April spoke. What did you call me? Why? Can you not remember your old nickname? Navy Blood. Filthy pirate soul. How dare you! Marie suddenly lunged forward and April fell backwards, pulling Marie down with her. Captain and first mate rolled about in the sand, throwing punches and kicks at each other. 
April punched Marie hard in the stomach, forcing Marie to throw April over her back into the crates. The crates broke. April lay winded, groaning. Marie spat on the, on the floor, clutching her stomach. If my parents had accepted you into my family, you would be in a warehouse! April rolled over. If it wasn't for your family, my parents would still be alive. Marie snorted. Oh, really? Do you think I don't miss mine? Marie and April glared at each other. Peaceful Bay is gone. We need to plan our next journey. You mean go back to your parents' mission? Excuse me? April pushed to a standing position, holding her back. I know why your parents adopted me. It wasn't because they felt sorry for me or because they loved me. It was because of my family treasure. Marie snorted. Just admit it. Marie turned away. April shook her head and flexed her finger. Her thumb hurt. It was your idea for us to separate when the Admiral got too dangerous. Just as it was your idea to hide your... Ah, ship, April corrected herself in response to Marie's look. Where is the ship, anyway? At the end of the world, neither looked at each other. May I please remind you that I am your captain, and you are my first mate. If you weren't my sister, I would have you locked in the brig for mutiny. Another pause. April and Marie only glanced at each other. No one wanted to talk, to talk. Finally, April turned to face Marie, her face cold. We are not sisters. The spell was broken. April pulled her hat into position, released an angry breath and walked away, heading towards the ship. Marie clenched her fists and pulled the tent shut behind her. A set of bright but narrow eyes watched from the trees. Oh dear, looks like they've had a bit of a spat. Let's hope they get together. We've still got a long journey ahead of them. Well, I guess we'll find out in the next chapter. Till then, stay safe, stay well, keep the magic in your fingertips. And we'll see where this journey carries on in the next chapter. Bye, guys.